Hey guys, it's time for me to talk about my top three shows of the week, and there were some good shows on this week, and my third favorite show of the week was Arrow. Uh, we got introduced to the Suicide Squad, um, and this is part of Argus and Amanda Waller's crew, and we had some really great stuff going on between them. We had some great scenes with uh, Deadshot and Diggle, and we had some really great Diggle backstory and how he met his now wife, Lila. Um, we had some very interesting stuff going on between Amanda Waller and Oliver at the very end of the episode. And we also had some good scenes between Sarah and Oliver. There was a lot of um, great material in this episode. And I really, really, really enjoyed it. And I cannot wait to see what happens next uh, on this show. Because they're just killing it right now. It's just... They're, they're hitting the nail on the head, definitely. Every episode is good, and it's intriguing. And, you know, for the first time, Oliver is, like, without sorts. Like, he does not know how he's going to be able to take Slade down because Slade is, like, five steps ahead of him. He is just on his game, and Oliver is off his game. And the fact that Sarah is willing to be that ride-or-die chick for him, and she's in it, and she's not afraid of Slade because Slade doesn't know what she's been up to the last five years it will be very interesting. Um, yeah, really good, interesting. And I was so excited that it was a really Diggle heavy episode because, you know, one of the things that I really like about Diggle and Oliver's friendship is that they're friends, but they're also good partners. And, you know, you can really see how much of um, like a sidekick and not in that kind of, you know, lesser of way that that um, Diggle is for Oliver and you know you really got to see that again play out in this episode and I really like that and some really really great sh scenes with Deadshot and Diggle um, and their backstory really warranted those kinds of conversations in this episode and then we finally had that that last shot of who they're calling Deathstroke which is of course is Slade and him in his full outfit and the mask and everything so that was kind of cool and I can't wait to find out what went down between Amanda Waller and Oliver because there is some stuff going down that we need to find out about which I love okay my second favorite show of the week was Scandal okay guys this show really tugged at the heartstrings last night because wow all that stuff that went down with Jake and them killing James and I, I, I just was shocked that ending scene with James on the ground and gasping for his last breath of air, Jake sitting over top of him, just telling him he wasn't going to let him die alone, that his daughter was going to be okay, heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. The stuff that went down with Huck and Quinn, creepy. Extremely creepy. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> oh my God, I just can't. No, 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 no. Um... Olivia had some great scenes with her dad on the bench, you know, him basically, again, talking about all the things that it takes to be command and the fact that he's had to kill 183 people and that does not go un without consequences. He's going to have to live with that for the rest of his life and he's like tortured by it. And knowing that that is going to be the fate of Jake is going to be very interesting. And the fact that Jake took out this hit and he killed those three people without having to let somebody else do that and be have that burden on them was, again, just like, oof, devastating. Um, some good stuff with with, with um, Fitz in this episode. He They really humanized him in this episode a lot, especially with how, you know, he was there for Cyrus. And, you know, that scene again with Cyrus at that podium, heartbreaking. And the fact that, you know, he wanted to just get back to work and not have to deal with all the heartbreak of him losing James was really sad, um, but really powerful. Uh, some good stuff with Adnan, and she looks terrified of Mama Pope, which she should be, because that woman is up to no good. Uh, so I can't wait to see what happens going forward. So guys, we only have four more episodes left. Lots of crazy stuff is going to go down, I have no doubt, and I absolutely cannot wait to see what they do. Again, Olivia hiding behind lots of trees, bushes, people's knees, crazy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, but what was the alternative? Make her pregnant on the show? I would not have wanted to see that. So fine, hide her behind every vase, every doorknob, whatever, a tree, a plant, I don't care. Just keep doing it because, <laughs> it's, you know, I'd rather see this than it go in the other direction, so I'm fine. I just always like poking fun at it. 
Okay, so my number one show of the week, The Walking Dead. What? I mean, the fact that they committed to killing off two young children in this episode is crazy. And the fact that they had one of the girls kill her sister, crazy. And then the fact that she said that she was about to do it to Judith, who is a baby, can't even walk, crazy. And then the fact that they had, I mean, seriously, Carol, just look at the flowers, just look at the flowers. And she had to shoot the poor child. I mean, wow, this was a powerful episode and kudos to the show for going there and just giving the audience like that gasp moment crazy it was crazy I just I think there are no words as to how powerful that episode was it was just really good stuff well written well executed you know just watching um Lizzie playing with these walkers running around in the fields with them you know feeding them like the mice and just acting as though they were her friends and that they weren't going to be these bad people that we all thought they were. The fact that she killed her sister to prove that she would come back and she would be okay. Heartbreaking. Just heartbreaking. Okay, we only have two more episodes left. I need to see the rest of this group get back together and see what's going to go down. Can't wait. Let me know what your top three shows of the week were. Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.